Oh, uh, it should already be recording, I think, right? Um, it's going to yeah, be yeah. audio. All right, so that's the other video. All right, so let me um, stop presenting. And... Yeah, yeah. Okay, who okay, told me they had a meeting? Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Jason Kreidner, and um, I'm one of the founders of Beagle Board, and I'm super, super excited about uh, Google Summer of Code here in 2022. And um, Kathy, you want to introduce yourself as one of our yeah. admins or a primary that admin? Makes sense. I'm in the Google Summer of Code Beagle Board. I've been involved with Beagle Board since the first Beagle Board. So, so um, um, worked with, with a lot of students, and this, and this is, is probably our kick-off kick 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 year to Google Summer of Code, code so, so we're really glad to have you. <laughs> it's nice to see some familiar faces and icons and, um, and also um, um, lots of new faces. And, 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 um, so uh, just to give you just a, a two-minute introduction to, to Beagle, right? Um, we're all about embedded systems. So an embedded system is, I really shouldn't say that we're really all about people, but, um, but empowering those people with embedded systems, right? So that's a, a computer, you know, it's something, something like this or like, you know, like this or like this, right? Um, making computers really small and, and really open and accessible and hackable so that you can put it in. And all those tasks that, um, um, a person maybe wouldn't want to do because they're super redundant, let's get a computer to do it. And we we're trying to really enable the world to um, not be left behind from, from those, the, the kind of the big powers that be that are creating um, all the crazy electronics that, that dominate our lives um, and uh, give that same, that same power to individuals utilizing open source, um, both open source software and open source hardware um, and, and Beagle is, is, is primarily uh, an educational project, um, which is why we're super excited about uh, Google Summer of Code. Um, the primary side is education, but of course, um, you know, out of that, we also need to actually go and, and design these boards um, ourselves and working with the community um, and get them out there um, to, um, to try to simplify people's lives in um, learning how to create things that embedded systems and that could be everything from um, satellite networks like there's there's a satellite network currently based on um, a beagle bones there's um, you know the Mars uh, rover prototypes by NASA were, were built with with beagle bones and, and driven under the Arctic ice um, you know I could go on for weeks and weeks about the cool projects from from you know, PCR machines uh, that um, you can be used to find COVID, um, you know, air quality monitors to prevent its, um, um, its spread, um, and, and, and so many, 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 many other things. And um, the Google Summer of Code project is one of the, 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 um, the main ways in which we, we help bring on new developers to the, um, the open source um, community. So i um, really excited to have all of you um, participating, both mentors um, and students. And we always, um, you know, Kathy starts about like, how do we do some, some kind of onboarding activities? I think that's a, a, a big focus. Um, and um, we really haven't, we haven't done the best job, I think, this year at communicating some, some, some great onboarding things, but I know one of them that we always do is to record introductory videos, all right? Um, you don't have to show your face. Um, you can look at all the different examples. It's mostly slideware. Um, but one of the things I'd really ask you to think about when, when putting your, um, your presentation to talk about your, your project uh, forward is to actually think about what the impact is on the community um, and why you want to participate and, and why um, uh, why you personally want to do this. I think we could do a lot more to get to know you um, as the, you introduce the um, your project. Um, certainly, we want to hear all about your project and why it's why it's going to be great. Um, but um, I, I, this is a, an opportunity for you to have um, some time and. We'd like to get to know each of you um, 
in the in the course of this the GSOC, and it's great to have that introduction, not just to your project, but to you personally, and what what motivates you, and what you hope to get out of the the, the program, um, and with the relationship with everybody else in in the the Beagle community. I just want to mention that this year, um, if, you if you will please, please email, email me your, your slides, slides before, before you do your recording. Your recording. Then, then I can I make can some, some feedback. feedback. I'm looking, I'm looking for, for just, just a couple, a couple of things. things. One, One is the, 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 the use of, of the Beagle, Beagle Board, Board logo, logo and definition of who is Beagle, Beagle Board. Board. So, so a lot of times students, students enjoy putting those in their presentation, their presentation which is great. We love, love it. it. I just, I just want to do a double, double check, check for you to make, to make sure that we are following the guidelines of our of our, our, um, of our, of our trademark. So, so I give you the, so I, so I, I can send out, out the right logo, logo if people, people want to use, use it. it. Um, and as Jason mentioned, you know, you know having, having a quick, a quick check, check of your, of your slides, slides is really, really kind of useful, useful to get feedback. To get feedback. So, so a friend, a friend myself, myself, your mentors, your mentors are really, are really good people to check your slides first before you do your recording. And then when, and then you're, when doing you're doing your recording, recording you can you use, use anything, anything you want, you want. Uh, screen, screen grab, grab or PowerPoint, PowerPoint does it. PowerPoint does it does really, really nicely because they do it per, per slide. slide. So, so um, that, gives that gives you a chance, chance to say, hey, I couldn't quite say exactly what I wanted, wanted to say, to say for, for that slide. Let me do it do again. It again. Um, we love, we love to, see to see you on, you on the video, video. So, so does, does the, the community. community. Um, the, little, just, the little Twitch sort of little icons are really yeah, awesome. Yeah, the little, the little <laughs> headshot, headshot in the corner. In the corner you know. uh, but, but if you're, if you're you know, you know, sensitive, sensitive to that, that you know, you know, even, even just a photo, photo is fun. Um, um, students, students often, often like, like to show, show their, their uh, setup. setup. And we and like, we to, like see to see that, that too. We like, we to, like see to see your environment, your, your, your you know, crazy, crazy desk, desk full of electronics, or your very neat and tidy desk, desk from whatever, whatever it is you choose, choose to do. I do I have, have one recommendation. If you are going to do a, a, um, a man, a man on, the on the street video, video recording, recording, you know, consider, you know, consider having, having a friend hold your phone, phone rather than, than holding it yourself. I think you'll get a little bit better lighting. And, and maybe, maybe you, you'll, you'll, you'll be able, able to focus, focus more on what, on what you want to say, say rather, rather than worry about, about you know, you know, holding, holding the, phone the phone and you're trying to move the PowerPoint, the PowerPoint or something. So, so, um, if, you um, if you have any questions about, about any of that kind of thing, thing uh, let, uh, let me know. Let me know on the slide. I'll be happy to coach your guy. But th this isn't supposed to be something intimidating or difficult, though, no, right? No, no, no. We, 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 we want to let hear your personality, hear you know who you are, what your motivations are, and have and, and come out. But but if it, do not let this be a stressful point, right? This is um, uh, this is a um, a fun get to know you activity and let everybody know about your project, right? This is. Um, um, yeah, don't don't let this stress you out. You'll get another chance at the end when your project's done to 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 explain everything about how cool it is. Um, so don't make it perfect. Just you know, um, you know, enjoy it um, and and let us get to know you a little bit. Um, any questions about introductory videos? Because this this. Um, um, did everybody everybody know about the introductory video requirement? Anybody not know about that? Jason, why do you go around and let the students introduce themselves real quick? Oh, okay. I like it. With your key points. Who wants to go first? I'm going to call off the call. Okay, okay, we're going to end, we're gonna end, gonna end first. first. Ezra, Ezra, I think, I think on Ezra, Ezra first. first. Where's Ezra? Ezra. Ezra. Not in the video, you are you. Oh, really? Even though, even though you're you're you are not in the video, you It's, it's a, a very, very changed one. Is this Is better? This better? No, 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 no. Gathy, you are fine. 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 still mute? Um, now he's unmuted, but we still can't hear him. Okay. No, we don't hear a thing. 
I hear nothing at all. Yeah. And let's come. Why don't we give him some time to, to do that? And, and Kathy, you want to call on somebody else? Yeah. 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 Is it C? Coming to us all the way from Malaysia? Hello, hello everyone. Can you guys rest me? Uh, anyways, you guys get Kirigian Jasper, um, um, the one who who if the project a big conflict, so we are going to be lucky. Nice, nice to see you guys. Awesome, great to meet you. I'm going to visit Malaysia. I'm hoping 2024. Yeah, I have transitioned to Kuala Lumpur a couple of times during my travels. I'll be asking the question. Okay, who's next? Who's volunteering? I can go if you hear me now. We can hear you now. Okay, good, good. Yeah, so for some reason my Bluetooth headphones seem to mess up with video calls sometimes. But yeah, hi everyone, I'm Ezra from Canada. And I just and graduated, I just graduated from, from computer engineering just this past semester in the winter. Um, and yeah, and yeah super, super excited, excited to be, uh, to be to part, be part of, of the TSOC this year. I'm working on a Bella project, project uh, involving, involving getting, getting machine, machine learning, learning running, running on, on the Google board board and, and Bella, Bella and, and uh, building, building some dev tools, tools uh, for that. For that. So, so a free profiler and a benchmarking system. But yeah, but yeah, I'm really into, into, into musical, musical instrument, instrument design, design so I, that's how I kind of came across, came across the Bella project, and then eventually, eventually came across, across the Beagle board. board. Um, um, yeah, the, the, the Beagle board, board the uh, G-Stock, um, proposals, proposals and whatnot, and whatnot. But, but yeah, yeah super, super excited, excited to work this summer. Cool. Thanks, Thanks Ezra. Ezra. I'll, take I'll take this opportunity, opportunity to tell the students I love demos. I am not a coder. I copy paste code, and I can test code. But I am, I am not, not a unique coder, coder, so I have a huge, huge respect, respect for you, and I and love, I love demo, demo videos. videos. Who's next? next? Excellent. Partial? Partial? Little bit more. Can't Yeah, we, we still can't hear you. Did you um, want to spend a minute working on your audio and we'll do another introduction? Yeah, let, he said give him give him a minute. So you want to have somebody else? Uh... Okay. Okay. We have Krishna? Krishna? Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. So I'm from India, and I'm working on the project of IDT system. So I had great methods laid down at the end, and I'm coordinating everything with my project. So we are having a regular meeting on one Monday and Wednesday. So it's going quite well. We'll accept the 
It's the it's the bit better than last time, but it's still like soft, like like. Yeah. Mainly because it's a bit of mind. This part here, like this. Try that.
Thanks. Okay, okay we got, got a few more minutes, minutes so let's, um, let's, let's move. Is Kai here? Hi. Can you hear me? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, hi. Hi. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm from, from Japan, Japan and, uh, and uh, uh, my, my name, name is Kai Yamada, Yamada and, and yeah, nice, yeah, nice to meet you. Meet you. Uh, my, my project, project is, is uh, Beagle Bone Ape Compatibility Game Project. So, so uh, I'll be creating, creating some uh, uh, compatibility layer for Beagle Bone AI. AI. So, so I'm, I'm very, very excited, excited to join this, this, uh, this project, project because I'm very, very interested in a uh, uh, Linux kernel, no behavior mechanism. So, yeah, I, I uh, had, uh, had a, a, a ritual, ritual experience for making a better Linux, uh, changing a better Linux uh, using one data chip and a better Linux code. So, so yeah, yeah, and, and I, I want to get getting more, more knowledge through this, through this uh, G -Soft. G -Soft. So, so yeah, yeah. Uh, let's uh, hand, hand in, in together. together. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome. Glad, Glad to have you. Okay, one more. more. It's, it's here. here. Arsh Arsh Shabbat. Shabbat? Hello. 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 Hi. So, so there are yeah, Russia and I'm from Bangui area, and, 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 and this summer, summer we were working on the Great Wars project, project uh, where I did the improvement in Great Wars support with the project. This thing. thing. Okay. Yeah, it is. It's showing, showing it there on the screen. We're so glad to have you. Okay, okay, I'm going to check, gonna check one time, because I think Talia is actually presenting the ACM conference this week. So, so he's not, not able to make the call, but, but so, so I think I think there's students going to join us. Do we have a student online? I thought that Malia was going to join us. His project was not selected. Um, but, but he'll be he'll doing us for me and things like that because he'll be working on his project, project independent, independent of the book and the project. project. So that would be fun for him, for him to have all the students in the community. Okay, okay Jason, Jason, back, back to, your to your list. list. <laughs> all right. Um, so the, you know, because this is, um, um, we're all trying to learn together um, and trying to, to improve things. I think one of the most important skills that you can develop to help your knowledge grow is how to ask um, questions to experts and Eric S. Raymond wrote a really great essay but it's a little bit hard to kind of wrap your mind around I do highly recommend you read the whole um, essay about uh, asking smart questions from from Eric S. Raymond top to bottom um, it'll really help you get engaged with um, with the online the open source developer communities and all of the developer communities uh, it really gives you some great guidelines, but I'll kind of break it down into just um, a, a couple different steps or a few different steps. Um, first is when, you, when you're putting the question together, right? It, you, you always want to have a nice little quick, quick synopsis, right? For too long, didn't read. But, but when you're putting your question together, think about the whole thing, right? And start with what are you trying to accomplish, right? Make sure that anybody reading your question knows what you're actually trying to do instead of just... Uh, thanks for the link, Abhishek. Um, uh, thanks the the what you're actually trying to accomplish, right? Start with um, letting people know what it is you you expect to do. Um, nobody wants to do your homework, um, so um, the 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 next thing is to to where did you go try to find out how to go do it? What have, what resources have you already um, looked for? Because a lot of times you're just looking in the wrong place. Right. Just tell us where you're looking, where you thought to look, um, and um, and a lot of times the, the the fix could be just trying to discover new resources. Right. Those resources should have been findable. Um, like I'll, I'll say, a lot of times for BeagleBoard, the bug is in the documentation. Um, right. Because you know we're simply not able to find uh, the information that you need when you need it. Um, so say what you looked for. Um, 
um, so what you what you what you thought should be the the solution to the problem, right? As you're looking around because you were expecting you've done some homework, you've you've looked around. Um, these are the things you looked for, and so what is it you actually tried, and then what is it you expected to get out of what you're trying, um, and then ultimately give us detailed logs about what actually happened, right? The, all the commands you put in, what they actually output, right? Because the it's, it's going to waste a lot of time going back and forth if um, you know you you put a question together and we can't actually look at you know, like the the next thing is always going to be well did you put a paste bin up right did you put a um, you know, can you can you post the logs of 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 um, you know, what you tried to do? So give us give us information about what what actually happened and why it didn't match what you expected. Um, sometimes that's going to be a lot to paste into the um, the Slack channel, which is a really great resource for interacting with all the um, the mentors. Um, so um, you know, if it's long, put it in paste bin. Use the the Git the the GitLab um, so git.beagleboard.org/gsoc. Um, uh, there's an issues list, right? And and each one of the projects we we only have five of the projects so far that actually have um, repositories up there. But each one of those is going to have an issues list um, in the GSOC. Um, you, you I can easily just track um, who. Uh, let me just show because this is just easier to 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 show um, which one of these is. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be harping on many times that uh, um, that Git is the, the the first skill you need to learn. Um, uh, it'll 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 be the thing that 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 um, keeps giving back in terms of um, op working with open source developers. Right? It's a it's a it's a tool, but it, it comes down to to a methodology. Um, of how we can work together collaboratively and build on each other's knowledge. Um, so um, this is a good example. Um, we had a couple of issues. One one's closed, right? But for building the um, Zephyr, thanks for thanks Harshal for 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 doing all the fixes, um, and and Kayamata looking at this. So if you have a blocker of any kind, um, put it into your issues list, right? So. Um, so we look at the group, um, group activity, right? For each of these different ones, there's going to be a um, an issues list, right? So if you put if you put that all that information, right, what you're trying to accomplish, um, what you um, how you where you researched it, what you actually tried to do, and believing what should should happen, and what actually did happen, into this issues list, and then let us know in the the, the, the channels. Um, um, I think we can can get things resolved for you very quickly and make sure that you're not not blocked. Um, that said, um, I, I want I want your blockers to be put into to our Git, but our our you know the just the BeagleBoard community isn't the only community you're going to need to reach out to, or to to learn. Right? There's the broader Linux community. There's the Zephyr community. Right? There's all sorts of places where people go and collaborate. So asking the the right questions in the right place. Um, really matters, but um, I want to make sure that you keep me and the other mentors informed of the things that you're trying to, to learn and where you're, you're blocked. Um, and if you're not sure where to go ask those questions, let us know. Um, but um, you know, this is this is about engaging the broader open source developer community, not just BeagleBoard, right? Um, so if you just point, point, you know, look for answers only in in the, the BeagleBoard. Uh, people logged into the Slack or logged into the IRC channel, you know, that may not be enough, right? So um, please don't um, let yourself be be stuck for long. Um, questions about asking questions. <laughs> and those can be deeper questions too. Like, you know, I've, several of you mentioned things that you want to learn more about. Um, do not limit the scope of the things that you use the community for for just executing your project, right? That, that we want you to use the community and use this time um, where you have other the mentors engaged to um, to get things that are going to help you uh, things that tasks of your own or that they help you go and learn all those skills um, that you want to go and develop right learning more about the the kernel booting and and kernel modifications right um, 
Um, and I really, really want to encourage you to learn um, Git, um, G-I-T. So that's that's a, a super important one. So if you have any questions about just working with Git, please ask. All right, um, contributing upstream, right? So um, for projects like um, you know, bbconfig, right, the, the, the upstream is just with BeagleBoard. Um, but when you look at projects like with Zephyr or, or with the, the, the Linux kernel, even like the, the Cape compatibility layers and all these things, the upstream is the Linux kernel. And you, you always need to be thinking about how to get this work that you've done to be preserved. Um, how does it actually um, get into the hands of, of the broader developer community? That's important for, for your, um, you know, your, uh, I don't want to say a resume or, or CV is kind of not the right word, but like your portfolio, right? Like what you're ultimately want to learn is how to participate in changing that the, the open source that everybody consumes, right? So being uh, being an asset to the overall um, uh, open source developer community, and that's going to be a lead in to help you find and uh, jobs, learn to build your skills more. Um, so don't just think about contributing in you know to your own repo think about how it's going to go upstream right and each different projects have their own kind of upstream uh, upstreams right places where that knowledge is going to be preserved and shared with the most people i'll pause again i'm trying to get through my checklist but all right um so I'll get through my checklist then, since we've still got another uh, 15 minutes. Um, personally, I would like to see um, commits through through Git and then pushed into the the git.beagleboard.org, um, you know, at least daily. Um, um, and and I know that some of you are already contributing into to projects that are going in upstream and other cases. Um, and I would encourage you to just. Um, you know, find ways to duplicate that work with with Git. That should be very straightforward to have, um, um, you know, forks of, of other code or to have uh, links to other code. Um, but but me, I'm going to be able to look across all the projects if people are making Git submissions into um, git.beagleboard.org slash gsoc, right? So that's going to tell me that um, that you did work today and a feeling for, 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 for what it was, right? So I'd be looking for, you know, each day that you're, 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 you're doing work is to see some type of, of submission. Don't be shy. It's not expected to be clean and perfect, right? This is, um, when you submit upstream, when you push other things, you need to clean it up. You can create forks, you can squash commits. There's ways to make the work cleaned up to be for preserved, right? This is about just your daily workspace. And you don't want that work to get lost. Um, don't just leave it on your computer, um, right? Push it up to um, get.beagleboard.org. It lets us know what you're doing so we can help guide you in the, in the, in the right places. It, it lets you know that you are doing stuff and it makes sure that your work is preserved somewhere. Um, so um, we don't, the, the, the dog ate my code I don't, that, that's probably not a, a universal uh, um, <laughs> thing, but um, you know, there's 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 no excuse for losing your code, right? Um, right. We have tools for this. Um, get it pushed into to to get. Um, if you if I, I think one of the tasks, like a warm up task, um, you know, if we were to come up with one, would probably be something related to, to Git. I don't have a great one if somebody has a suggestion. Um, but if there's um, it, uh, um, if there's any skill, was it Git related? Did yeah. It? yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, there was a even there's for the for the applications. There was one that's just like make a make a. Um, cross-compiled ARM build that people push to, to, to a Git repo. So that was there. So that was a, a, a checklist item. But, you know, if there's something a little bit more advanced skills. So I know everybody here already knows how to do a, um, you know, a Git well, pull request. Well, we do have some people on, on, the, on, the, on the call, call that, can that can drain that up. up. I know that there's yeah. some, some, some members, some members from, from last time that are mentors, mentors now. now they, they, they can drain up a bit more. 
Oh, I uh, like that. Cool. Um, so the the uh, I wanted to talk briefly about the weekly status reports, right? So typically we won't meet by video. Um, we'll have just kind of a quick online check in, but with with text. Um, where you know everybody's going to kind of be there so you can get some opportunity to discuss blockers um, and, and move them forward. But the, the expectation is that the weekly report is already done, right? And that's all about tracking against your milestones. You know, you, you should have a milestone for, for, for pretty much every week. Um, you know, did you meet your milestone? Are you blocked for your milestone? Um, um, you know, are you, ahead of, are you ahead of track? Have you completed your next milestone, right? And that's the sort of information that needs to go into your to your weekly report, right? Where are you against your milestones? What did you accomplish? And what are your blockers, right? There should already be an issue. So if your weekly report shouldn't be anything but a link to the issue, um, and maybe a, you know a quick summary to try to help bring more more people on board, um, and trying to help you resolve your issue. But um, we are gonna we do want to see those those weekly reports. Um, um, and send them out to the um, the forum, uh, the GSOC forum. Um, that gets a little bit more viewership, a little bit more. Uh, some some people will just track the projects just through those those forums. Um, so so please make a make a post through the, to the forum. Um, and I would encourage you just to do a um, to do a blog and essentially copy your weekly blog post to the to the forum. All right, that would be the way I would encourage it. I'm trying to get uh, GitLab pages set up, but um, you know, um, in in lieu of me getting GitLab pages set up on git.beagleboard.org, is you know maybe do um, GitHub pages or something like that, just to kind of get yourself a um, an, an easy blog to kind of do your reports. The blog isn't a strict requirement; the weekly report is, right? So if you just want to send an email on the forum, that's acceptable too. A lot, a lot of students, students enjoy, enjoy their. their Blog experience, experience, even, even if it's a place you can put those videos, videos uh, yeah. demonstrations, and you can use that later to connect to your link from profile to talk more about networking. Yeah, it makes a it makes a great. Um, um, I, 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 blanking on um, keeps thinking resume, but it's a portfolio, right? It makes a great addition to your portfolio. Right, and when you're working in open source, right, it's having examples that you know um, uh, how to how to work with the community that that really um, you know help you build your reputation. Right, it's, it's having those having those portfolio examples. So the blog gives you a great way to build that portfolio, and you can take it with you. Um, I think I already really mentioned issue submissions on blockers, right? You know, make sure that you you create Git um, GitLab issues. I um, drew um for all of your um, for all of your blockers, right? Um, you know, even if you if you've got thirty different things that are blocking you from making progress, make sure you have something so that we can help you um, close out those issues and you're able to reach your next milestone, right? Um, you know, it's one thing not to make a milestone, um, right? But uh, not having the reason that you couldn't make your milestone not in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an issue is, is you know, um, right? That's the stuff that we, you can't have, right? You, you've got to let no, people know where you're blocked ahead of time so that we can have a chance to work with you to help you get unblocked and, and reach your goals because we want you to succeed, right? That's what we're here for is to help you succeed. Um, and the last comment I had was on just on growing your connections both within and, and, and outside BeagleBoard, right? I mentioned earlier that, you know, you're not always going to get answers just on the, the GSOC Slack channel, right? Um, you know, look at the hash Beagle on, on Libera chat. Um, look at some of these other, other resources. But um, uh, if you're nervous about... Um, uh, kind of um, working in a in a, um, a an open source community and 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 putting contributions of your code upstream and your um, and your um, you know I don't know if, I don't know if the word shy is is okay but um, 
that's okay. We're here to help you work on that. Um, because uh, being an open source developer um, is often about um, what I'd say is uh, being thick skinned, right? Not being offended when people say something that, oh, that's junk, right? It's okay if somebody says your code is junk. It's just okay. And, and we want to help you um, not be hurt by that, um, to learn to um, not, uh, um, like we don't want to ever say that to you, right? Um, but but people in the open source developer world, and when you, people get in online, people will say things online that they wouldn't necessarily say to your face, right? Uh, there, it can be it can be harsh, and it's not saying it's okay to be harsh, um, but um, what, I, what I am saying is that that you can find ways to 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 live with it, work around it, and and be productive and not let it bother you, and and we can help you. Um, uh, feel comfortable with your code, um, feel proud of it, um, you know, be okay with the fact that people tell you that they don't like it and, and, and just work on improving it. Right. It's, um, you know, it's a, it's definitely a matter of try and fail, try and fail, try and fail, try and succeed. And, um, and ultimately, um, you know, you know, you, you can succeed um, and um, and we're here to help you succeed uh, and sometimes that means um, trying over and over again so if you're if you're shy um, let's let's uh, or, or you don't feel comfortable submitting to upstream projects or there's any any sort of things please work with us on that um, we want to help you um, grow your network of, of open source de- community around you so that you can draw on not just your own knowledge but the knowledge of of everybody um, working on open source that's my checklist um i think, I think that's, that's a fabulous, a fabulous checklist, checklist. And, you know we, you know, we have we have five, we have five more minutes, minutes now so i want to make sure, sure that we go over some, some just, just really, really clear, clear basics, basics and then, and then and then, and then schedule, then schedule our, next our next talk, talk because, because uh, I, think I think this part, part of it is very important, very important in getting, getting a few minutes, minutes of Jason's, Jason's time to help us to, uh, you, know, you know, grow, grow as, a as a community, not, not just, just on the projects, the projects is, um, is um, super, super valuable. valuable. So we'll so make sure that we schedule, schedule another, another talk, talk with Jason. With Jason. Um, maybe maybe, maybe, maybe it will be instead of the Wednesday meeting, maybe we'll schedule it for a different day of the week so that it is... Uh, rotating, rotating around. around. So, so um, um, just, just from, from uh, logistics, logistics purposes, purposes every, every week, week then, 11.30 11 Central, Central, my, my brain, brain revolves around Central, 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 Central Time, Time. I live in Houston, Texas, Texas, so that's, what, that's, what, that's, that's where, where I think, think but uh, 11.30 Central. Central. I realize, I realize that's, that's the middle of the night, night for some, some of you all, and really, really want, want to, to, you to feel appreciated for your efforts. This enables us to get some people from the West Coast and California all the way around to India. So we've kind of settled on that time, and know that it's really late for those of you who are in the Eastern Time Zone. Um, um, uh, as, Jason as Jason mentioned, mentioned uh, you, know, you know, critical, critical to, to document, document, critical, critical to uh, uh, daily, daily commit, commit, these types, these types of, comments of comments are required. Are required. Um, Google, Google Summer, Summer of Code, Code is a, a uh, program, program that we apply for. for. So, so we as a community are very choosy, very choosy uh, when it comes to who we rank and who we, who we, who we uh, ask Google, Google to help us invite. invite. We didn't, we get, didn't our get our complete, complete list this time, but that's, but that's okay. okay. We got, we got you know, seven, seven really, 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 really great, great ones. ones. So, so feel proud of yourself and tell all your friends, all your friends and family that, that you're, you know, you're working with Google and you're working with Google. Um, we'll try, we'll to, try have to have some fun, fun with it as well this summer. summer. Um, as as I, drink I drink coffee, but you, but you probably drink tea, tea or something way more healthy for you. For you. But, but we'll have uh, coffee, coffee with Kathy. I'll also schedule, schedule some additional, some additional Zoom, Zoom calls and invite, and invite them into our space maybe just to, just to you, know, you know, have some, have some creative, creative time on a Friday afternoon or something to be able to visit with you a little bit more. So, so please, please come, come every, every Wednesday, Wednesday to the Slack channel, channel meeting. meeting. I'll, I'll open it the same as I always, always do with some, some silly way to get to know your favorite, your favorite fruit or vegetable. Fruit or vegetable. And, then and then we'll um, make sure that we've got, got our weekly reports in before that meeting. We like them on Mondays. 
and then, and then um, um, I will send, I will send out, out an email summary of some of Jason's points from today, from today so, that so that you've got, got those to remind you of the links and so forth. And, and um, any, other any other last, last words, words, Jason? Jason? Uh, I like you having the worst last word, Kathy. It's all yours. Well, my well, last word is thank you, everybody, everybody especially, especially our mentors. mentors. We, didn't we didn't talk too much about, about that, so my first, first coffee, coffee with Kathy, with Kathy will be, you know, you know tips, tips on how to work with a mentor. I like, I like conversation to me, or, or communication to me is like clapping, clapping hands, right? right? Clasping, clasping hands is very stressful. And hands that never touch, that's not clapping. There's no sound happening. So how do you clap hands gently or hard or fast or slow? This is a rhythm that you work out with your mentors. But always, always make sure that you're having a regular cadence with your mentors. One thing that I can just offer to you, we have not seen failure at Google Summer of Code. There has been good communication with your mentors. And that's, and that's super, super important. important. And again, and again what, Jason what Jason mentioned, we're all, all a bit shy. shy. So, so bring, bring it on, bring on, bring on that, that shyness. And we can't know that there's, that there's a problem unless you let us know, know there's a problem. problem. So that's, so that's what that constant communication with your mentors and constant communication with, with the audience. So with that, that I, think, I, I think there was a question. Was there, somebody raise their hand? No? Somebody raise their hand. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. I did. So, so I, just I just heard that the EBA 64 launched. launched. So, so congratulations on that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so if you if you don't know, uh, this is the the BeagleBone AI 64, and I think I'm you know they're in stock. I need to try to figure out the best way to order to ship to all the different regions, but I think we should get one of these out to everybody. This is a um, um, it's a dual core A72, and um, but it's got an eight tops AI engine in here, right? So, um, and we we've been getting the the TensorFlow Lite stuff to to work with that nicely. Um, so that's um, it's a it's a it's a beast, right? But you've got the BeagleBone headers on here, right? Which is why the the Cape compatibility stuff matters so much, right? I think this is going to be really great for for Bella because it's got a lot more AI capability. Um, on it, um, you know, it's got a, an M.2 with PCI Express on here, and all the, the USBs are US are super speed USB 3. Um, so um, I'm I'm this has been a while, um, you know, in, in coming we've been waiting on getting all the parts in so that we can really jump straight into production and not run out of stock right away. So there's uh, distributors already have these and and they're getting more. Um, so I'm I'm. This is a the first 64-bit beagle, um, or beagle beagle bone. Yeah, so um, right, it's uh, in production. So um, yeah, um, we'll try to get Kathy. We'll work together to try to make sure all the students get one of these. That sounds, that sounds terrific. terrific, and I know, I know that Jason, that Jason is, is headed, headed towards, towards Germany, Germany uh, in a in couple, couple of days. days. So yeah. we might, we might have, have a little bit of spotty communication, communication, but looking forward to seeing, seeing those, uh, those, uh, those great uh, press, interviews press interviews and interesting, and interesting things, things that are going to go on during the show, show and, and, and introducing the, the new product. product. So uh, is that, that the embedded board? 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 Yeah. 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 Anybody oh, else going? Uh, what's that for the It's uh, uh, this next week, right, Tuesday? I don't remember which day they opened the show. I opened it in the Slack channel. Yeah, yeah. Embedded, Embedded world. world. Like, I, I know that we've got, got, got who's on the call? call? Do they, they have anyone in Switzerland? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've done this. They've done this. It's a train. Okay, let's make sure. If somebody wants to go, I think there's a free way to get a pass. I'm not sure if it's your pass. Okay, with that, I'm going to sign off. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Our show is going to be on the channel. Hey, hey. Thanks, thanks, everybody. everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.